morning guys so it's thursday morning and i'm not gonna lie to you i feel absolutely shattered this week and i've just been burning the candle at both ends pretty much i've been trying to do like everything to the best of my ability keep up with everything smash my gym sessions i did my volunteering yesterday which is like a full day on your feet and I'm not gonna lie, I'm just so tired. <laughs> the weekend couldn't come sooner, let's put it that way. But I've actually got another PT session this morning. I think I mentioned a few videos back about how my relationship with exercise has just kind of like deteriorated massively. Mainly due to my injury and I spoke to one of the PTs, Ellie, at my gym and she is lovely. I'd like watched her train clients before and I just thought, I feel like I need a training partner and just someone to like do sessions with me and just help me to kind of enjoy it again. Lightly just up until I have my operation, but I'm gonna see because you never know. It's just quite nice to have someone run your sessions for once. So we've got a session with her this morning, which I'm really looking forward to, although this is what I've been drinking, which is not good. It's not a good habit to be in an energy drink at this time. It's 8.47 and it's completely unnecessary. Well, it's actually completely necessary this morning because I'm so tired and I don't know, I could have made myself a coffee, but we've gone for an energy drink. So I'm gonna get ready for that and I thought I'd take you along my day with you. A lot of you said that you wanted to see more kind of like vloggy style videos. So I thought we'd do that and I've got a few things I'm doing today so we can have the day together. <laughs> Guys, I am so annoyed. I, I'm literally having the busiest day and I'd put everything into like time slots in my day. Just want to go and have my COVID vaccination after the gym and I get there. I wait in the queue for nearly half an hour. Bear in mind, it takes me about half an hour to walk there, I get in the queue. I just asked after about half an hour, like how long do they think it would be? He was like, well, when you get inside, it'll just be about half an hour. I was like, so why the hell, why have they given me a slot for that time if the actual time is an hour later? Like, it just makes no sense to me. Like, why is there no warning? Like, who has the time in their day to take two hours out to go and have a COVID vaccination? It just doesn't make any sense. I think you need to basically, I, I don't know. I don't really know even how I'll work it. But pretty much, I'm not gonna be able to go and have my COVID vaccination now until after I have my operation, which is not ideal, but it's also not the end of the world. And very grateful, of course, that we have been able to get it so early in this country, because I know a lot of countries, it's just like not even being rolled out yet. So very grateful for that. Um, but I just think I'm probably gonna have to book a weekend slot or something, if they even do it on the weekend. But anyway, try not to get too annoyed at myself. I am back from the gym and I look, obviously completely disheveled. I need to go and have a shower. And then I'm actually driving to Kent today and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Not that I'm probably gonna be able to film much when I'm there. The bit of Kent that I'm going to is pretty much about an hour and a half drive away and I'm gonna drive in Elliot's car. I can't remember if I said, but I sold my car a few months ago and it was kind of a really good decision because when Ellie and I hopefully go away in January for, I don't know, 
six months, a year or whatever. I was gonna have to sell my car anyway, but I've needed it way more than I thought. And then I always feel really bad asking Elliot if I can borrow his. But it's just not one of these places that you can like easily get public transport to. Like it's quite a lot of train journeys and bus journeys. But because I'm now in the last few weeks leading up to my operation, I'm trying to limit the public transport I get. So just limit basically the contact I have with other people because the worst thing that could happen to me would be that I get COVID and then can't end up having it. So I will be driving and it's a pre-assessment. So they will likely do blood tests and then they also said they want to check for this thing, which is like an infectious thing that goes around hospitals. So they're also gonna swab me for that and just run through a few things. So I'm gonna to have to do that drive and I honestly think the appointment's probably gonna end up being like 10 minutes and then drive back. But you know, it's just one of those things. I don't know if you noticed as well, I've got some of those spot stickers on today because I'm having my first like actual proper spot breakout that I've actually ever had. Like, I think a breakout is like when you get like quite a few spots at once, but I've always been really, really lucky with my skin and praying that this is like a complete one off. But I actually wanna chat to you a little bit about skincare stuff later and go through a few things with you. So I'm gonna save that for then. But need to go and get in the shower. Really could do with having a hair wash. Maybe I'll do that. Grab some food and then we're gonna head off. These meals are honestly just so useful to have for when I'm in a rush and on the go, just like now. So I'm gonna have this one, the red Thai curry with rice noodles, broccoli and pickled cabbage. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But these have all been really, really delicious so far. Look at that. Actually looks so, so good today. And I always kind of ruin it a bit when I take it out of the, like the microwave package that it comes in. So I always flip it upside down, but it still looks amazing. And I love that they serve it with this like pickled cabbage stuff and lots of greens as well. So I'm gonna wolf that down because I've literally got half an hour to do everything before I need to be out the door. So I am back from Kent. That was quite a long journey, I'm not gonna lie. And I forgot my glasses as well. So I wear glasses for like reading and driving and things like that. Anything where I'm doing a concentrated task and Honestly, I can see without them, but I was looking at the road like, oh my God, I feel like I'm about to go cross-eyed. It was just not good. And I've got such a headache now. But my stepsister actually ended up coming with me, which was really, really nice. She didn't have anything to do today. And it made the time just go a lot quicker. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I'm actually just packing to go home for the weekend. So if you're kind of newer to my channel, you might not know, but my family home is just south of Manchester. I've honestly hardly been back since COVID kind of struck everything and yeah, I'm going back with Elliot for the first time in so long. Like Elliot hasn't seen some of my family members for like a year and a half, pretty much. So I was just getting some stuff together and I was packing some gym bits and realized I had a little package from Gymshark that I've only worn two bits from. And I just thought I'd show you a few bits from it. I feel like I've not shown you any newer Gymshark pieces for ages, but they did very kindly send me this package. My boyfriend Elliot works for Gymshark and the staff there are just super lovely and generous and will often send me a few bits. And yeah, we've got a few really lovely bits to show you. So I thought I'd do kind of a really mini try on haul, very like unofficial haul because I really wasn't planning on doing one in this video, but, but I know that you all love seeing new bits of gym wear. So let's go through some of the pieces that are in the package. I'm just gonna actually prop you up. Ooh, sorry, that's probably so shaky. Just give me a sec. Okay, that's a bit better. One of the things about this camera is that it's really, <laughs> <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to crouch. One of the things about this camera that I don't really like is it's super shaky. I feel like I already complained about the battery in this video, but yeah, it's very, very shaky when you just kind of hold it by hand. I don't really know why, but it means I always have to have it propped up. Whereas I feel like my old vlogging camera, I could kind of walk around with it like this, but this one honestly looks like all over the shop. Um, right, first little outfit. I feel like my hair looks a bit weird, I don't know why. I've just got one of those little clips in it, but I just always feel like it makes me look really young, like either really young or like really old and like librarian-ish when I have it like that. Right, we're just gonna go with that anyway. So first up is the new Adapt Seamless, I think sports bra. So I'm actually gonna show you the original one because I've got it right here. The one that Gymshark make, it's, this, it's basically the same shape as they do for like their camo one and then this kind of adapt seamless. They've done a few ranges that have this shape, but it's that kind of a crossover, lower cut shape. I think I've spoken about it before, but it's just not 
my favorite shape. I just don't think it looks that great on me and I just don't feel like that comfortable. I just don't actually feel that comfortable wearing it in the gym because it's quite low cut. So I was really happy to see that they brought out this kind of a newer shape. So this is just more, I don't know, it's just quite simple to be honest. I feel like it lets the pattern on it do a lot of the talking. I really like the little ruchy bit and it's the same one that's on the bottom of the leggings, which I will show you next. So yeah, it's the same one that's on the bum there. So we've got it there this time. And then the back is just like this. Just super cute and yeah, simple, but really, really comfortable. Like I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this sports bra just because it is really, really comfortable. Quite practical. I would say it's like medium to light support. I probably wouldn't like run in it or anything like that. And then we've got the shorts. I'm gonna have to stand further back so you can see. Sorry, I can't really tell how dark it is on camera, they're cute. I'm not really a big wearer of really tight shorts just because it always makes me feel a bit like self-conscious. I quite like the Nike ones that have like a tight bit and then the kind of slightly more like flowy bit over usually, but I've seen a few girls wear them and I just thought they looked really good in them. So I thought I'd try them out for myself and I can see myself wearing them. I might end up wearing them more with like a baggy sort of t-shirt over the top so there's not kind of too much skin showing. But yeah, I think these are really cute and they've actually got that little ruched bit here which looks really sweet as well. They're very comfortable, I have to say. I also got these in the black color as well which I will show you quickly. I might as well just try it all on. I'll try it all on. We'll try and make little outfits out of them as well. Right, so I've put the leggings on, but with this little black bandeau sports bra, which I think is really cute. I'd seen a lot of people wearing this and thought, just kind of makes your gym outfit look very like fashionable. Like it's very like a little top that I would wear with a shirt over the top of. Pretty much what I was actually planning on wearing later on for drink. Yeah, I just think it's actually a really, really cute look. And I just love this outfit, to be honest. So this is it with the leggings. The leggings are just literally the longer version of the shorts. They're really, really comfortable. I've had a few Gymshark leggings that are basically this exact same style before but I do think the color is just very very flattering and it's got the little scrunch bun bit again which kind of like contours you a bit oh also that's the ankle length on me and I'm five foot four but I do feel like this kind of um what do I mean legging length from Gymshock kind of stretches to suit your leg length like I have seen girls that are a lot lot taller than me wear these and they look full length so even though I am slightly on the shorter side I feel like they work for taller people as well they are just so comfortable and because they're a slightly thicker material I feel quite confident in them like I feel like they're kind of holding me in well but they are just very like unrestricted at the same time I have to say I love this outfit love the little bandeau sports bra I feel like it's a good staple probably a low support in fact it'll definitely be a low support sport bra and definitely just for days where you're feeling like extra confident because you obviously do have quite a lot of like skin on show with this right so this pair of leggings is quite wild i feel like this is a very very bright pair of leggings but i'm vibing with this outfit and i have to say this pair of leggings they are just so so comfortable i don't know what the style is i can't for the life of me remember what it is this is the ankle length for me by the way before i sit down so i would say it's a little bit shorter I'd say probably a little bit shorter than the average pair of Gymshark leggings. This is the back, so it's got like the same kind of like logo bit as the high-waisted flex. It's pretty much a really, really lightweight, seamless pair of leggings. Like they are very, very lightweight. I love them. <laughs> they feel amazing, super good quality. The only thing I would say is they are very thin. Like I don't know if you can really see here, but they are very, very flimsy, although they do feel expensive and like really well made at the same time. I feel like those two statements kind of contradict each other a bit, but they feel amazing just definitely one that would show like all your lumps and bumps through so i don't know how often i'm actually gonna end up wearing these but they are really cool and i know they'll look really cool if i'm filming workout videos which i'm trying to do more of i know i've been really slacking and someone messaged me the other day on instagram and said i really really miss your workout videos and i don't know it just like really hit a nerve with me i was like oh my god i've been being so bad with them and just honestly because of my injury i feel like i've really just lost motivation with the whole like, posting workouts like carousel workouts Workouts on Instagram but I know a lot of you did find it really helpful and I then spoke about it quite openly on my story so I'm blabbing now I got so many DMs from you guys being like no please bring them back they were really really helpful so I think I will I'm gonna gradually get myself back into them I feel like I was just putting out exercises that I wasn't enjoying doing just because of the nature of being injured I'm obviously quite restricted with what I can do but I will definitely be bringing them out but yeah I feel like this pair of leggings will make an appearance in one of those because they're very like 
standouts. They just look cool. I feel like they look really cool with this black bandeau. Like, I just really, really love that look. I cannot remember the name of these. I'll make sure I find them online and I'll put everything below. Also, I forgot to say, but I always pretty much wear a size small in Gymshock unless otherwise stated. And I'm generally like a UK size eight and five foot four, if that helps. Right, so these are the last few items and I'll show you it without the top on first, but we've got another one of these bandeau sports bras in such a cool, like limey green color. And you can see this top, which I'm about to try on is basically the same color. I think this color is fab. I mean, it's definitely one that I'd wear with black. Otherwise I think it would be a little bit too much, but love the color. It fits exactly the same as the black one. Exactly the same style, just in more of like a neon-y color. But I love this for summer. I feel like it's very like fruity, tropical summer vibes. And then we've got it on with a, another pair of the black, I think they are called Adapt Animal Seamless Shorts, I think. And I love this outfit, I really, really do. I just feel really comfortable in it. And yeah, I just think these shorts are super, super cute. So yeah, I will definitely be keeping all of this. Yeah, a little bit out my comfort zone, but you know, we move and it's nice to try something new from time to time. Then this is the top and I love this. This is something that I do feel really comfortable in. So I probably wouldn't wear it just full length. I'll stand up and just show you what this looks like. I probably wouldn't wear it like this just because I have shorter legs and a longer torso. So anything kind of around this length just really emphasizes it. But ways I would wear it. So a kind of classic thing that I do is kind of tuck under like that. So you've got a really cute little cropped kind of vest top thing. Honestly, this tripod is just the most awkward angle ever. I feel like I need it to just go a bit lower. It goes up really, really high. It just doesn't go down very low. So it's just quite awkward when I want to just sit and chat to you. But yeah, this is probably how I'd wear it. I was about to say the other way that I would do is to just like lop off the bottom a bit. Um, but this is just not that kind of material that you could do that with unless you were going to get it kind of professionally tailored. But yeah, I just think this is such a lovely look and it has a little white Gymshark here, but it's really, really subtle. And I quite like that it's almost a little bit mesh see-through vibe and it works really well, obviously, having this kind of same color bandeau bra underneath. Also, you can kind of see it there, which I think looks lovely. Yeah, this is just, this whole outfit's just a vibe. I actually love all of those pieces. There's actually not one piece there that I wouldn't recommend you guys getting your hands on. So yeah, very good unplanned mini haul. So I'm going out in about an hour with Elliot to meet Megan and Niall, some of our friends, for a little kind of drinks thing, just super chilled somewhere near us. But I thought I'd do a mini get ready, but I did my makeup a little bit earlier. I'm not feeling very confident, to be honest, in my skin at the moment. I know I mentioned it um, really briefly a little bit earlier in the video, but I've basically just been having, well, not been having for a long time, but like the last week, my skin's just got really, really bad. And please bear in mind that I have got makeup on at the moment and I'll do my best to kind of show you what I mean. But I've basically just been having a breakout in this area and I know it probably won't pick up as well on camera. Also, this Sony camera, just like a little disclaimer, I do find it tends to blur things a bit. There'll be a lot of YouTubers that you watch that probably use this exact same camera. And I think it does make you look more kind of airbrushed than you are. But yeah, I've just not really been feeling that confident with it. And I, if I'm being really transparent, never ever suffered from bad skin. I've just always been really, really lucky with it. And you know, I'll get the odd spot from time to time. Honestly, nothing that's even really noticeable. And yeah, I've just always been really lucky with it. And I don't know whether it's because I've been stressed over this past week, but then there have obviously been times in my life where I've also been really stressed. But I just, by the way, I'm just putting this wave in my hair. Obviously you can, you can tell. <laughs> um, but I realized I haven't really told you what I was doing, but I just quite fancy having slightly wavy hair. But yeah, I don't know whether it's be because I've been stressed or, or what it is really. I've no idea. Pretty much had like my first ever breakout. So I've found myself wearing a lot more makeup this week to try and cover it up. But obviously probably the last thing that you're meant to do is put more makeup on it. But have also changed a few of my skincare products lately. And I don't know whether that is anything to do with that. But I have no idea how this looks, by the way. I can't really even see it on the camera, but I'm just hoping it doesn't look kind of that weird. But I don't know whether that's anything to do with it, but I don't have very sensitive skin on my face. I do have slightly eczema prone skin on my arms and legs, but on my face, it's never really that sensitive. Like I don't often come up with like reactions to new products or anything, but I'd run out of a few of the products that I was using, which were the Paula's Choice 
products, which I loved. And I just went straight to using some new products that I had. And for some reason, I've just not, there's something in my life pretty much that I'm just really not agreeing with. So I thought when I finished doing that, I would go through a few skincare empty things with you. I actually really like watching these sort of videos on YouTube. And I know that I'm not like known for skincare or anything, but I do sometimes get asked about it. So, and I do think I've got some like good recommendations for you, but I've pretty much, if you haven't seen any of those skincare empties videos, people save up all the things that they've sort of used up within the last year or six months or whatever. But to be honest, mine probably is over a year. Like I think there's actually some makeup items in there as well. And just go through them and kind of say like which ones they liked and which ones they didn't like. I really, really enjoy watching them. And I often get recommendations from there to be honest. So yeah, I thought I've been saving them up for long enough to have a good view to chat through with you. But I'm just gonna put a wave in my hair and I'll show you what products I use to kind of seal it in place. I don't know why I say this as if I know exactly what I'm doing because I absolutely don't. But I bought this during the first lockdown because I saw loads of people on TikTok using it and um, it's quite good. It's just from Tony and Guy. And I think I remember it was honestly like 25 pounds or something, which is obviously really inexpensive. And and I've actually used it quite often because I feel like, I don't know, it just looks cute. Just cute, isn't it? Little like mermaid waves. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to grow out the bangs I had cut into the front of my hair because I cut them myself in lockdown and it was just a disaster. And they are still, even though I've been trying to grow them for about three months now, they're still shorter than how I had them originally cut and they just don't quite go into a ponytail or anything at the moment. And also I don't know what to do with them because they don't like flow into my hair very well. I think because my hair's quite long. It just doesn't really work. So ignore those because they kind of ruin the look. But I'm just gonna use some of this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. You've probably seen me use this quite a few times because I love it. I feel like it's quite like a cult product at the moment. But I'm just gonna add a bit of that because I need a bit of volume. And then I'm gonna add, this could be super rogue because I've never put this in while I've done this with my hair before, but I got sent this in a PR package last year and it's called Beached Urban Waves. It does make your hair quite dry, but considering we're going for like a wavy-ish look, I feel like it could be quite good today. Just don't want them to be like silky waves. I just sort of want kind of a beachy wave. And my hair is actually naturally it's, I mean, it's not like this, but it's nice and like, usually it's just got a bit more of a wave to it, but since I've had bleach put in at the ends of it, it's just nowhere near as like that anymore. So we have to improvise and put waves in ourselves. Okay, so when that dries, that is kind of the finished look and these will sort of get a little bit looser as well. But I just wanted a little bit of a, you know, kind of almost like a natural wave. But with this, if you do want it to be very mermaidy, you can hold it down for a lot longer and then it makes like a bit of a deeper one. But yeah, this is the finished look and we'll get my outfit on. So this is the vibe that we're going for. By the way, the place we're going to for drinks is, I mean, it is a pub, it's just a new pub. So it doesn't feel very like old school, but it's super, super chill. So wearing this little white bandeau and this shirt, which actually used to be Elliot's, but he was gonna throw it away or give it to charity. And I just grabbed it because I thought this is gonna be really useful. And I actually really, really like the colors. Also just wanna show you the jewelry that I'm wearing because I was very, very kindly sent a little, I guess a little collection of jewelry. A few pieces from By Glaze, which is owned by Natalie Glaze. The pieces are just so beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's a sustainable jewelry brand. But just to show you quickly some of the things she sent, because I've actually got three out of four of them on now because I love them so, so much. You'll probably see me wearing them all the time because they're definitely gonna become kind of new staples. But these hoop earrings, I love how thin they are. And I don't know if you can see up close, Please ignore my chubby earlobes. Um, but I don't know if you can see up close, but they are kind of like textured. Textured? I don't even know if that's the right way of saying something. It's funny, like when you're on YouTube, you kind of second guess yourself way more with things that you say. Whereas obviously if you're just talking in a normal conversation, you don't think about like just describing something, but you're like, what is the proper word for that? I've no idea. Then the other thing that I've gotten is this little choker. I just think that is so cute and I actually used to have one quite similar to that that my godfather got me in silver and I don't really wear silver jewelry anymore. So it's really, really nice that I've got a gold one. And then the other thing is this really lovely, just super simple ring. My nails look horrible. <laughs> a super simple gold ring, which I think is just such a beautiful piece. And I actually think the shape of it 
it's lovely so it's thicker at the top and then thinner at the bottom so i just thought i'd show you those because i do feel like it really kind of spices up an outfit also yeah so this is the outfit and i'm wearing these jeans which actually the jeans that megan chose for me sorry the camera is way too close for you to be able to see these properly and i haven't even got my shoes on yet but megan actually chose me those jeans in the video that we did together so yeah and then i was thinking because it's that weird sunny rainy weather and i'll put these on if it gets too sunny yeah maybe i don't know can't really see myself in those okay so i'm actually gonna have to be kind of quick now because i don't have that long before they get here so i will try and go through this quickly and not chat too much but to start off with the Paula's Choice things, all the things that I've run out of recently, I literally ran out of all of them pretty much at the same time or within about two or three weeks of each other, which I feel like means that they've made them really well because they kind of, yeah, lasted a similar amount of time. So first up is this face wash. It's the Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. I have very, very dry skin. This worked amazingly for me. I can't honestly say enough positive things about this Paula's Choice range they actually sent me the range and they basically said like what's your skin type i said i've got really dry skin it completely changed the game for me i don't know if i said a few months back when it was kind of a winter in the uk i mean not that it's really much better weather now but yeah when it was actual winter in the uk my skin was just so dry and flaky because i was spending a lot of time walking outside and this just game changing range for me so we've got the hydrating cleanser by the way i'll link everything in the description box for you so you don't have to remember it and then they sent me this kind of duo these are called this is the omega 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 god that's because i watched too many people from america on youtube omega i think that's how we say it in the uk omega plus complex serum with chia and flaxseed and this is the Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer with Chia and Flaxseed. These were amazing. I would layer them up. So I'd wash my skin with the cleanser and then I'd have the serum and then the um, moisturizer and I will 100% be rebuying. Then they also sent me the Skin Restoring Moisturizer with SPF 50. Again, I loved this product so much. It's quite a white, creamy consistency, but it didn't leave a white cast on me at all. I just found it worked really, really well for my skin. Obviously these products, worked for my skin they may not work for you so definitely do your own research as well but yeah that range was amazing for me then on to a few other things i'm not going to go through everything but one thing that i have run out of and i've gone through so many bottles of this and i'm yet to repurchase just because it is so so expensive but it's the skin cuticles ce ferulic vitamin c well vitamin vitamin c and vitamin e serum i think i always call it vitamin c but i think do you know what look it up on the website because i'm not that sure i call it a vitamin c serum i love this i know tons of people use this product and love this product and i just think it's so worth the hype and i would say so worth the money but it is also extortionate so i don't know you can judge that for yourself then i've got quite a lot of moisturizers as you'll see because my skin is very very dry i moisturize a lot and um, so a few that i've gone through in the past few months this coconut water cream first aid beauty hydrating hydrating i mean it's a moisturizer i really really love this product it's just not quite right for my skin i went through it really quickly because it is just a very very light moisturizer it's a lovely lovely product but just very very light and it does hydrate you for how light it is but just my skin i need a much thicker moisturizer but if you have oily skin i feel like this would work really well and this was a skincare by hiram recommendation and i know he's got oily skin if you don't watch him on youtube go and watch him because i learned so much about skincare from him but yeah fabulous product just won't be repurchasing because of my skin type another one that i went through and really really love this product so would potentially buy it again and youth to the people are now in the uk which is great to hear it's their youth to the people adaptogen deep moisture cream so i think this product has snail mucin or something in it which comes from snails and it's meant to be like really, really hydrating. I don't know whether I've just made that up. Have I made that up? I feel like that is true. Yes, no, I could be completely making that up. But I really, really love this product. It was a really nice consistency. What I would say about these pots though, is after having the Paula's Choice products in these squeezy tubes, I do think this is just a lot more hygienic and I really, really enjoyed using these. So I don't know, it's not to say that I wouldn't buy a pot of moisturizer again because there's, not, there's nothing really wrong with it, but I did actually really enjoy the experience of using these, which, which I didn't know that I would. 
Another one that I've used up is the Kiehl's Ultra Cream. Really, really liked this. This is more of like a night cream. You can see it's just a little bit thicker. So I have it in the drawer by my bed and I was using that at night time. Really nice. Not a lot to say about it, just it did work really well for me. This Murad Intense Recovery Cream. This was lovely, like very, very luxurious. Murad is quite like a high-end skincare product, but I would say, yeah, this was lovely. I would definitely repurchase this. It's a very, very thick cream. The only thing I'd say is it doesn't sink into your skin that quickly. So I would always try and put it on, I don't know, more like half an hour before I was actually gonna go to sleep. Otherwise I'd feel like it kind of transferred it off onto my pillow. But it's this lovely like pale green color. I don't know why I always smell them, but most of the products I use aren't scented. But yeah, as you can kind of see from the remnants in there, it's like this pale green color. And I really, really enjoyed using that one. This Skin Seeds Cools Emollients Moisturizer. Loved this one. I actually used this one at least eight months ago now, so I can't even remember what it was like properly. But I do remember thinking that I really enjoyed it as I was using it. This Murad um, Hydrodynamic Moisturizer. I loved using this. This was a good day one for me. It was like a mix between a night moisturizer and a day moisturizer and I would honestly use it in the day and sometimes at night time as well but I do tend to opt for a much thicker moisturizer at night time just because it works for my really dry skin love this one it's kind of creamy white consistency honestly all the Murad products are pretty much incredible I haven't really come across one that hasn't worked for me so would highly highly recommend I just know it's a little bit pricier and I'm not gonna go through everything today, but I have used quite a few of these SkinCeuticals SPF 50s. I have kind of moved away from this product now. I did enjoy using it, but I hadn't tried that many other SPFs at the time, and I have got some more recommendations for you, so do let me know if you'd like me to go through some of those, maybe in another video or something. Then I loved this Paula's Choice Hydrating Gel to Cream Cleanser. This was lovely. I would have this in the, sat in the shower and this sat by my sink. So I'd kind of actually use these sort of with each other, but I like having one for when I wash my face after the shower, which is generally when I get out from the gym or whatever. Really love this. This I would say is probably my favorite. This is like a creamy one and this is hydrating, but it's more of like a gel consistency. Then this kombucha cleansing treatment from Fresh. Now I don't use many scented skincare products just because I don't really believe that skincare needs to have like you know, things to make it smell nice. I do feel like you can have that kind of luxury element without it smelling, and it's not necessary to have those kind of ingredients on your face necessarily. I'm not against them, I just don't tend to opt for them a lot, or that often in my skincare products, unless it's a really good product. But I was lucky enough to receive this in a PR from Fresh, and I have to say, I really, really loved it. So it's kind of like a micellar water vibe, and I went through that quite quickly, really, really enjoyed it, and I actually would purchase it again. I'm not gonna go through everything else because we'd be here all day, but just for a hair and body recommendation quickly, I go through these all the time. I've actually started buying these super size ones, like the massive ones with the big pump, but this is the Purology Hydration Range. As you can tell, everything is just dry. Like my hair's dry, my skin's dry, and this works so well for me. I use it all the time. You've probably seen it quite a lot in my content before. Yeah, this was just sat in my empties box as well. One thing that I use all the time because I think they're amazing are these pots from the body shelf i think i've included these in a video before but these just are amazing they sink in really really quickly and they're great to use after the shower i do find i love their body butters as well and i do use their body butter more in summer but if you're putting clothes on straight away i find that it just transfers really quickly onto your clothes whereas they're just a bit better the body butters you've got time to kind of let it all sink in whereas these are really really fast absorbing and actually really work very well they're very very hydrating considering how thin the consistency is i go through these all the time and these two are definitely my favorite this is the moringa one and this i don't know if i've said that right and this is the almond milk one and i rebuy these two all the time then the last one that i'm going to recommend but i have recommended this before but it's in my empties box is this nude sticks tinted moisturizer this was my first introduction to a good tinted moisturizer and it's so fabulous i still do use it from time to time I'm not wearing it today i'm actually just wearing the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter but this is such a nice product just it's so glowy even though it's not shimmery it's just like got very very nice like natural glow to it and it's just a really nice light coverage which i love i'm just not very into like heavy coverage thing but yeah i feel like i spoke very quickly then but we got it all done and let me know if you've enjoyed this because i would love to do more like skincare beauty things on this channel because i feel like i'm super passionate about it basically but i'm gonna have to head off because we are going up drink i love filming this video for you guys today do subscribe if you do want to stick around let me know what you want to see more of in the comments and i'll see you in my next video